Hi, I'm Kelsey Pfeiffer from Orlando, Oklahoma, and I'm a Showride Influential. And today I wanted to talk to you about a, a few of the do's and don'ts in terms of clipping hair does. Um, just a few things first off. Um, I like to use a uh, clipper, uh, Andy's clipper, wall clipper, whatever you kind of want to use with a coarse blade on them or a medium blade like I have here. Um, I don't like to get in and use a lot of blocking blades because I feel like it's a uh, fast really cuts a lot faster and it really um, will make a lot more nicks if you aren't careful or really experienced. So that's why I like to start off with a coarse blade so that you can always be comfortable with what you're doing. Um, a few things I like to do, I like to slick the neck down with a coarse blade to the point of the shoulder and blend it through the shoulder. That's one of the main things that people mess up on in terms of clipping the neck. They'll go down and stop at the shoulder and not blend that in. And it's definitely something that you have to do where it makes their shoulder look bigger than it should. Also, um, I like to uh, back drag the top right here um, in terms of going like this. Lots of people, you won't see them do this. They'll go in there and try, try to go like this or try to go this way with the hair. And it will make nicks all the way through there because that hair will grab your clipper and pull it down. So definitely things to think about in terms of clipping their tops and their fronts. Um, also, in terms of clipping their bellies, a lot of people you'll see them come in and they will shave their whole flank out and it'll make them look way too high flank. So you don't want to do that on a doe. You want to make sure you keep plenty of depth of flank. We want to make them look like they get deeper all the way from their fore flank to their rear flank and up through their chest floor. So definitely things to think about in terms of clipping their belly. Um, as well as taking the back side of the tail, you want to clip these little hairs off here when they're longer. This doe has been clipped uh, a couple weeks back, but their hair will usually be longer here. You want to clip up with it um, with a coarse blade. Another reason we don't like to use a blocking blade on that, because if you get too far in on their tail, it will cut their skin and it will cut them wide open. So definitely things to think about in terms of using blade selection um, on the neck and the top and the tail and belly. Um, also, a few other, uh, one other thing, um, is that whenever you get into clipping their head, you want to make sure you don't go past the point of the calic in the top of their head. You don't want to slick their whole nose off. You want them to look like they have plenty of hair up there on their nose, make them look stout in their jaw, um, stout in their head structure, um, and just blend the back of the head all the way into the neck, into the top of the shoulders and on both sides, make sure you blend the shoulders down. Um, definitely a lot of things that people do make mistakes on in terms of clipping them in blade selection. As I said, I like to use a medium blade as well. You can kind of use a medium or a blocking, whichever you prefer. Both of them are pretty forgiving, but for a 4 h -er or a first timer, I would definitely recommend the coarse blade because it is the most forgiving of either of the two blades that I have up there. Also, one other thing to remember is um, when you are clipping, make sure that you always use a comb um, and to comb through wherever you have clipped at to make sure that it either raises the hair that you didn't get clipped right and you can go back and go over it again. So definitely have a comb, um, comb a lot and make sure you blend everywhere and don't just make abrupt stops whenever you're clipping. So just a few things to think about whenever clipping hair does.